Wow, it is bright outside. Um, yeah, I don't like filming out here. This is much better. Today's video is gonna be a little different. Um, it's more just me rambling with some thoughts um, about my life, where I'm going, what's going on, um, and all that jazz. So it's not gonna be very entertaining. Uh, I can promise you that. So stick around if you want, or go watch another video. That's okay. It will not hurt my feelings because I can't tell what you're doing right now. This is just a recording. Hey guys, welcome back to JRK Studios, your favorite YouTube channel on YouTube, because that's what a YouTube channel is. YouTube channels are on YouTube, that's where they go, and that's where they're probably going to stay. Um, if you ever see a YouTube channel anywhere else, it's probably not from YouTube. That's And that's a fact right there. So yeah, you can take that to the bank and tell them that information, because they're probably pretty bored. I was actually at a bank the other day and it looked <laughs> really boring. I saw a safe though, and that was pretty cool. Like their safe was just like, it wasn't wide open, but they had like the big chonky door open and then they had like their secondary metal door open. Well, not open, it was closed, definitely closed, but it was, still looked cool. So there's that. But yeah, everyone in there kind of looked like they were dying on the inside. So maybe go stop by your local bank and just Tell them hi, steal a lollipop, and then go sell it. Make bank from the bank. Make bank off bank lollipops. That's a new business idea. <laughs> Life's a trip. Um, it was interesting. When I was younger, I looked up to people that were my age in many ways. I saw them and I was like, dang, that, they're so cool. They can, they're adults, they can do what they want. Um, they're all like kind of grown up and, and responsible and, and all that jazz. And, you know, I, I looked up to them in many different ways and now I'm an adult <laughs> and man, I wish I could go back. I wish I could just not be here as an adult right now. I... Like the amount of pressure and frustrations and just all these different things that play into life and play into growing up. Like it's, it's just, it's not necessarily fun. Um, I mean, there, there's parts that are fun. There, there's goods, there's bads, ups and downs, pros and cons and all that jazz. But man, <laughs> I miss the days when all I had to do was wake up, do school, then go play in the woods. Like, I didn't realize it, but those were the good days, <laughs> the good old days that they always talk about. But at the same time, I don't necessarily want to just live thinking, well, the good days are gone. Because what if I'm, all, what if I'm in the good days right now? What if <laughs> me 10 years from now looks back and is like, Dang, Ruben, you were in the good old days and you didn't even know it. So, yeah, that's just a, a little little tidbit, little snippet or a thought that I have. Um, but yeah, like, life is, is quite interesting. Um, the amount of options that I have right now on, on what I can do with my life are just insane. I could probably somehow find a way to go live in New Zealand and be a farmer. I know that's a, like, I have a friend that has done that before. Um, I could go live in Alaska somewhere, probably find a place there. Um, I could stay here at camp for forever. Um, I could go be absolutely insane and <laughs> I could go be homeless <laughs> um live off the street and ask people for money <laughs> like it's, there's an, there's an endless possibility of things that I can do and I think that's what honestly bothers me the most right now is I feel like everything is just kind of tossed up in the air and I don't really know where it's going or when it's gonna fall down and what I'm going to fall down with.
because I have like a rough idea uh, of what I want to do. Like, I, I love learning. I love like finding out new things and, and learning new skills and, you know, getting attached to new hobbies and, and whatnot. But like, I guess my issue right now is, is how do I turn those into a career, not necessarily hobbies, because like the more I think about it, like, yes, media would be an awesome job. But at the same time, I also love the fact that it's just a hobby for me right now. Like the more I think about it and the more I have like people talk to me about it, I'm like, yeah, media is something I could probably get into as a career. But at the same time, I absolutely love the fact that I can just do this as a hobby. I can do this to, to decompress and to de-stress. And if I were to turn that into a job, then I wouldn't want my job to be the same thing that I have to, uh, like, I don't want my creative outlet to become my job. While it is fun and I could see a whole lot of fun coming out of it, I also don't want it to take away the, the awe and wonder that I have for media right now, because I could see that happening. Um, and I, I don't want that to happen. Um, and I absolutely love music, but at the same time, <laughs> I don't want to be a musician. I do not want to be responsible for coming up with, with new songs all the time or copying what other people have done. Like that's just a, it's, that world is for a specific type of people and I am not that type of person. Um, I would much rather do music as, as a hobby or something. Um, and that's where I have to kind of draw the line because I know I have interests. I know I have things that I like to do, things that I love to do, things that I enjoy as a hobby. And I guess I really just need to find where I'm drawing the line as, um, I guess I need to find where I'm drawing the line of what is something I enjoy and what is something I enjoy and want to turn into a career because I have these two things <sighs> and it's yeah there's a lot there's so much <laughs> and I have no idea where it's gonna go where I'm gonna go um I know I kind of want to go back to college and do stuff, but at the same time, I don't think I'd ever want to do college full time just because that just seems like a lot. And if I did college full time, I would feel bad because I'd be like, dang, I am not able to afford this, but I'm doing it anyway. And then I would go into debt and I, that, that thought just paralyzes me. Like I, I cannot, cannot do that. I would end up having to work a job like at night and then I would have classes all day work a job at night, maybe pick up a second job if I could. And then I'd just be working all the time, literally 24 seven. And my life would spiral down into a dark, dark void. And I don't want, I don't want that. I don't want that. So, I mean, right now I'm just trying to figure out what it would look like to go back to college. Um, what I would even go for. And then um, yeah, just, just what job I would do. Um, cause I have multiple interests and maybe I could take a couple classes in one of my interests, work a job in another one of my interests, see which one I like the most, and then really just go full send on one or the other. And so like when it comes down to it, I'm just like trying to figure out what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> cause it's just like, there's options. And <laughs> it's weird to have options. <laughs>